the pain of being kicked out of their mosque hurts enough to make them cry. Now he said this is his private property and uh, he doesn't allow us to go inside. Worshippers of this Westchester Square mosque claim they donated hundreds of thousands of dollars two decades ago to buy this property as a place of worship. But someone who spoke to us on behalf of the mosque said it is actually the leader's home. He runs the, the mosque. It's pretty much your house and you turn into a mosque or a church. So you're running it and these people are telling him, no, this is the way it should be run. Then there's a lot of controversy with the nationalities. Bengalis and Pakistanis and Indian. He claims because of the diversity, there are different interpretations of the Quran, leading to internal conflict. But the members I spoke with say the leader shut the door on them after they challenged his authority and transparency, alleging they've never seen paperwork nor documents for the House demanding new leadership. We want to make a committee, crystal clear committee. Public documents show the deed for the property is for a corporation in the mosque's name. And the lawyer for the group says the current leadership is treating the mosque like a private corporation. When in fact, this is a religious corporation that has to be governed by New York state law, which requires elections and financial auditing and accountability and good governance. And until something gets resolved, members are left observing iftar, the time to break their Ramadan fast, outside. Powerful images there of them all outside. Uh, breaking that fast. Michelle, we know that last week the owner removed the signage from that property, which obviously let everyone know that it was a mosque. So is that still the case over there? Jess, a new sign has been put up with additional signs, letting anyone know who wants to come inside to pray is welcome to. Now, the person who I spoke with today, who was talking on behalf of the mosque, was saying that 15 people have been banned. But judging by the number of members who were outside here, joined together, eating outside, it's clear that they are standing in solidarity with each other.